Well, once again, it's one of these videos where I'll probably be saying no, you see, and no, you don't. And, uh, I wasn't actually going to be making this video today, originally, but I've decided to request if you go ahead and just produce this video on YouTube because, why well, not? Because, well, obviously, I've just made one for that product, unfortunately. So I didn't make more than one for that toy. Um, strange as it sounds and as sad as it sounds. And it's going to be quite a short video, though, but. I think this is going to be quite convenient for my camera to do stuff because if I go ahead and just make, you know, one video which contains one for that product, well, the video is going to get shorter, which is pretty much amazing, but we'll see how this depends and how much longer I should have to review on this video though. And yes, I've got a bit of a blocked nose. My nose was bleeding um, early on just before I was making this video. So it just bled so so heavily though. In fact I've got the dehumidifier on there. In fact I might probably turn it off. Uh, I've got Luke running on, on the background though. So I'm just going to turn this off. And it's interesting, I've got Jack Master Luke pulling the chain. Chain of course, as you can see, we've got some Jack Master and Tammy Powell uh, wagons by Luke Luke though. It's a good train by Luke Luke though. And um, the good news is, before I should continue this video, I have been tested negative! Hooray! So that means I don't have any signs of COVID. I can't believe it. In fact, I don't have any symptoms of COVID at the moment though. In fact, I'm just glad that, yes, I'm still tested negative. In the sense that, although there were some positive cases at my residential college, I have been tested negative. Just like the other two weeks, I believe it was like, you know, the week just before, the very final week before half term of October, which is of course this week. But we're going to be doing like some sort of, you know, single that toy here because there's nothing much I could say here. But the product I'm actually going to be reviewing is, ba -ba 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 is, oh, wonder what's down there. I think I must have um, dropped a flip up product here. And um, it's going to be a video that will also pay homage to my African Tap video though. Remember I did the African Tap video where I talked about some, you know, creatures from Africa back around November of this year? No, sorry, last year, sorry. <laughs> I thought we've just already passed Halloween time, but no, we haven't. And, um, oh my goodness me, if I go a bit closer here, oh my freaking god. Freaking God, that's what I said there, not the other F word. Oh my goodness me, let me just have a look what it is. It's a Linus Pride and Cub Scoop. What would this one be called? And Sequel for Family 12 pack, 13 pounds 95. And um, it's basically a pick up our gummy toy in the stylization of lions, particularly uh, lionesses and cubs. And mind you, I must have been making products like these, it's because I'm pretty sure. You know, as we come towards children in need, I often dress up myself as a wild animal. <laughs> That's just freaking weird. I often tend to get heavily obsessed with a lot of nature related things when children in need is just around the corner there. You know, by the sight of Pudsey. And then, you know, during my time of seeing Pudsey Bear on BBC, mind you, I just start to run on all fours. But anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about what this product relates to. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like a very weird, uh, generic, goddamn product, heavily inspired by the freaking movie called The Lion King. And oh my goodness me, I'm a, oh my god, is that Kimber the White Lion? I don't know which one came first, was that Simba or Kimber? I can't quite work out though. Also, Spinky, oh my goodness me, I don't really speak that well guys though because... You know, I think I've, the flu is still with me though, but luckily enough, um, I don't have any symptoms of COVID now, so I'm tested negative. And oh my goodness, <laughs> that line here looks more like a mongoose by the looks of it though. That's just freaking weird, eh? My goodness, it looks like they've, oh my god, they almost look like they've got, oh my god, that could relate into something that might relate into German propaganda. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I thinking of Hitler? I don't Hitler at the moment though, by these noses day. <laughs> That's a very anthropomorphic looking line there. In fact, if I show you the front here, and uh, the artwork does look 
pretty rough at the background, uh, sorry, at this back section here. But on that section there, it does remind me of what the Lion King is. Especially those three other ones there at the bottom, they remind me of what Simba looks like though. You know, I could literally draw of a picture of Simba really looking ticked off. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and unpack this. And just see... Oh my goodness me. What occurs. See what lies occurs. But anyways, my goodness me, I don't know how rough this video will be because I'm only just going to review... You know, I'm only just going to showcase one of that product. Got the chair right behind me though, so I don't think my speaking is going to be that nice, I believe, because... Hang on, I'm just going to go towards the other section here. So that I just feel like everything is all neat and tidy there, but it looks it though. Oh, I think, um... Oh, bad look, bad look, sorry. Sorry, Luca must have been, um, um, accidentally, um, made contact with this lioness here. Uh, but nevertheless... I might show you the lioness is, but that I've got there, I've just made at the moment though. Particularly the yellow ones there. In fact, the yellow ones I've made are like a very weird um, refurbishment of what I had last year's November day. Remember I did that very weird lioness toy that I did in November of 2019 with the cheetah in it? That was very weird. And I also had like the African grey parrots and the various seagull products I've made uh, last m um, goodness me. Last year's November, I believe. I thought I said last month, but sorry, I just keep on being rough here. Here's one of the white lines there. Okay, that looks like, yeah, it looks like the female version of Kimba, right? I'm pretty sure Kimba was like the original progenitor of the Lion King. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure, I don't know what it is there, but let me show you these um, other lines here. There's the other cubs there. I don't know how badly drawn. He's put us here. I think Luke is taking over the video now. Sorry about that. Uh, that's what they look like. If I show you this one here closely, they look pretty much, I would just say, it, not really that realistic, but it's certainly nice to, you know, just go ahead and just detail what these features are supposed to be. Uh, it looks very, very nice. So I think they also come in different eye colours as well, which is interesting. And this one here, last but no means least, uh, the brown version with yellow eyes on it though. In fact, I might probably go a bit closer, even this one here, this, oh my god, this one, oh my god, this one looks like she's got Botox eyes on that side there. In fact, this one also looks pretty much Botox looking as well. But nevertheless, that lioness there looks pretty much amazing. If I show you the other ones there, there's the little cubs there that she's got there. Looks pretty cute, isn't it? Eh? Having a family of lions like that one, eh? Who is Simba or Mufasa when you need him or not, though? But mind you, I really think that this set really is, um, I would just say, absolutely um, fantastic. And um, I do apologise for the... Um, poor camera uh, shots that I take though, but nevertheless, it's such pretty much an amazing sort of video that I've made so far there. I've still got the flu uh, block, no symptom at the moment though, because I haven't placed that much big spoker up as, you know, as I would literally have at the moment though, as I would literally want to put as much as I want to, but there you go, some lions. So interesting. Also, I noticed that the yellow ones there, they don't have the black tail detailing. Maybe it could be brown, I can't remember though, but got like some sort of weird yellow piece of detailing that you would... It's quite weird though, this sort of detailing on, you know, how would you call it? The hair tail piece though, the tear hail. Oh, sorry, tail. Oh my goodness. Why am I pronouncing things that are so bad at the moment though? Or why am I pronouncing things so badly though? I think it's more like the tail hair. That's how I say it, eh? But anyways, that's probably about it in this video though. Sorry for the rough and ready this day. But I'm just glad I'm just, you know, back again just doing some such toy views as much as I want though. <laughs> and um, I might have to blow my nose really hardly though at the moment though. And sadly I just ran out of, you know, of tissue paper. I'm actually um, 
used all my boxes of tissue paper up though. So, yes, that's the thing my bad at all though. So the person who has to blame on just wiping tissue paper is me. And whoever is responsible for this whole climate change, it must be me. Well, I might probably say, um, you know what? I might probably debate on whoever is able to blame for this climate change. I hope it will be me. Maybe next year. But anyways, I think that's just about it in this video. So, I think this video has gone quite rough at the moment today because I have the flu. Um, luckily I don't have any COVID symptoms at all because I don't have the coronavirus. And as I said earlier on, I was tested negative. Very, very negative. And that was really nice. But anyways, um, with that negative test, I'm just glad I might go ahead and just, you know, head outside and just, you know, provide social distancing and maybe hop to the botanical gardens on, I don't know, maybe until about Halloween time, I don't know. Maybe just keep on venturing outside until like Saturday or Sunday. But anyways, I think that's just about in this video. Please give this video a like of course. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to. And you're all going to sing stay to you. Thank you very much for Thank you very much for watching. And bye for now, okay? Thanks to all of you guys. Bye.